In today's video, we will be creating 13 amazing text effects in Photoshop. And the best part is they are fully customizable, means that you can change the text anytime you want. Starting with this 3D text effect. As you can see, I have this document with a solid color background and a text layer. First, I'll convert the text layer into a smart object so that I can edit it later. Then I'll duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J, drag it down and put it in a group. It has to be extrusion of our text. So let's call it extrusion. Now since the extrusion of a 3D object should be darker, we can make it darker by going to its blending option, click on color only, add black color with around 40% opacity. Now everything is set up and all you have to do is to select this layer, hold alt key on your keyboard and press down arrow key. It will duplicate that layer and move it down one pixel. Now release the alt key and press right arrow key to move it to the right side one pixel. Repeat this process several times. The more cup you make, the longer the extrusion will be. I think this is looking great. So I'll stop right there. And now it is done. You have a nice 3D text which is fully editable. Just double click on this layer, it will open another document. Here you can edit the text. When you are done with editing, close this document and save it. And Photoshop will update everything in the main document. To create this slice text effect, first convert the text layer into a smart object so that we can edit it later. Select the polygon laser tool and make diagonal selection of the text bottom area. Click on this icon to create a layer mask. It will oscillate that area. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J, select its layer mask and press Ctrl I. Now we have divided this text into two parts. And all we have to do is to move the upper side slightly to either side. To make it more realistic, go to its blending option and click on drop shadow. Adjust this setting to your liking and then hit OK. And you are done. To edit the text, double click on this layer, it will open another document. Change your text here, close the document and save it. And you are all set. Now to the next one. Let's create this cool glitch effect. Just like before, convert your text layer into a smart object so we can edit it later. Let's randomly select the text layer while holding shift key on your keyboard. It will add new selection to the previous selection. Now hold alt key on your keyboard and click on this icon to add a negative layer mask. Right click on the layer and choose blending option. Here all you have to do is to remove the red channel. It will make it fine, which is fine. Hit OK. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Go to its blending option again. This time enable the red channel and disable the green channel. Hit OK. Nothing will happen until you move it to either side. And look at this. It is looking awesome. And to make it more detailed, let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. Disable these two layers for now. Go to its blending option and enable all of these three channels. Hit OK. Select its layer mask and invert it by pressing Ctrl I. Now enable these layers and move this layer slightly to either side. And you are done. And just like before, you can edit the text by just double clicking on this layer. It will open another document. Here you can edit the text and when you are done with the editing, you can close the document and save it. And Photoshop will update everything in the main document. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please hit the subscribe button. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Let's create this cool stroke effect. Select the text layer and go to its blending option. In the layer style menu, add it a gradient by clicking on this gradient overlay. And you can choose any of these gradient presets. Select the gradient that you want and increase its scale to 150%. Then click on stroke. Size is 90 pixel, position is outside and the color is white. Click on this plus icon to create another stroke. This time the size is 55 pixel and give it a darker color. And then hit OK. And lastly you can click on drop shadow to make it stand out. And you are done. You can create a hue and saturation adjustment layer on top of everything and by moving the slider you can change its color. Now let's create this cool and realistic glow. For that I have this blue text layer. First I'll convert it into a smart object so that I can edit it later. Let's blur it slightly by going to filter, blur and choose Gaussian blur. Blur it about 1 pixel and then hit OK. Also change its blend mode to linear dutch 8. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Double click on the Gaussian blur property and increase its blur radius to 3. Duplicate it once more. Open the blur property and increase it to 10. Duplicate it once more. Open the blur property and increase it to 20. Let's duplicate it once more, open its blur property and increase it to 75. Hit OK. Let's make one more copy by pressing Ctrl J, open its blur property and increase its blur radius to 250. Duplicate it once more, double click on the Gaussian blur effect and this time increase its radius to 500 and then hit OK. Now it is done. And to make its score more brighter, let's create a curves adjustment layer on top of everything and adjust it just like this now it is done looking awesome you can also add noise to it for that we have to create a solid color adjustment layer with 50 percent gray color keep the brightness value 50 and saturation 0. let's call it noise convert it into a smart object and change its blend mode to soft light now go to filter noise and choose add noise 
amount is 10, distribution is Gaussian and check this monochromatic option. Also drop down its opacity to around 40% and you are done. And just like before, to change the text, just double click on any of these text layer, it will open another document. And here you can edit the text. You can also change its color if you want to. Close this document when you are done with the editing and Photoshop will update everything in the main document. You can experiment with different color to your liking. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Now this one is very easy. All you have to do is to go to the blending option of the text layer. Stall is inner bevel. Technique is chisel hard. Depth is 200%. Size is 60. Angle is 145. Altitude is 45. Click on this drop down menu and select this preset. Highlight opacity is 50 and shadow opacity is 80. Hit OK. And we are almost done. And for the final touch, let's create a curves adjustment layer and add a little bit contrast by adjusting the curves just like this. Now you can edit the text by just double clicking on it and type whatever you want. Now we can achieve the gold effect similarly. Just go to the blending option of the text layer. Leave the setting as it is. Click on gradient overlay. Click here. Select this black and white gradient and change this gradient to something like this. Hit OK. Now select this point and change its color to something like this. Click on outer glow. Pick an orange color. Opacity is 20%. Size is 60. And the range is 100. Hit OK. And now it is done. And you can edit the text by just typing your text. Awesome. By the way, you can download the project file from the link in the video's description. Now let's create this chrome effect. Go to the blending option of the text layer. Click on bevel and emboss. Here the style is inner bevel. Technique is smooth. Depth is 800%. Size is 20. Angle is 145. Altitude is 45. Click on this drop down menu and select this preset. Highlight opacity is 100% and shadow opacity is 80. Click on gradient only. Click here and select this black and white gradient. Select this point and make this black color a bit brighter. Just like this. And make sure its style is reflected. Hit OK. You can also add a lens flare to make it more dramatic. Just like this. Awesome. Now let's create this gold coil effect. Again, go to its blending option. Click on bevel and emboss. Style as inner bevel. Technique is smooth. This time the depth is 420. Size is 12. Angle is 145. Altitude is 45. And leave the other setting. Click on gradient overlay. Click here and select this black and white gradient. Click on the gradient to edit it. Select this point and change its color to a dark brown color. Just like this. Now select this point and change its color to something like this. Make sure the style is reflected and increase its scale to 150%. Click on outer glow. And just like before, give it a nice orange color and then hit OK. And you are done. Now to create the grunge text effect, I have this simple text layer in orange color. I will drag and drop this texture. By the way, you can download this kind of texture from the internet absolutely for free. Anyways, once this texture is in Photoshop, go to the channel panel, hold the control key and click on this RGB channel. Disable the texture, select the text layer and click on this icon to create a layer mask. And now you are done. You can change the text to any color you like. And you can also change the text. To make it more dramatic, you can create noise layer like before. And you are all set. Let's create this liquify text effect. First, convert the layer into a smart object and move it to the top. Now hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag it down to duplicate it. Let's make another copy and make few more copies. Now select all of these copies and convert them into a smart object. Now we have this all text layer in just one layer. And all you have to do is to go to filter and liquify. Decrease its pressure and brush on it accordingly. Hit OK when you are happy with the result and you are done. Let's put this text on the wood realistically. For that, right click on it and choose blending option. And move this underlying layer slider slowly and gradually to the right side. Now to make it smoother, hold Alt key on your keyboard and click on it. It will break it apart. And now you can move this slider to the right side to make it more smoother. To make it more realistic, let's go to filter, distort and choose ripple. Amount is 200 and size is small. Hit OK. It will add more details to it. And you are done. Now it is very easy to create this cut out text effect. All you have to do is to go to the blending option of the text layer. Now since we don't need the fill, let's drop down its fill to about 10%. Click on stroke. Size is 2 pixel and the position is out with the white color. Click on inner shadow. With black color, opacity is 40. Angle is 145. Distance is 20. And the size is 14. Hit OK. And you are done. To change the text, just double click on it and change your text. That's it. And by the way, you can also change the color if you want to. 
so that's it for that video i hope you enjoy it hit the like button if you like it subscribe to the channel also ring the bell icon so that you will not miss any other tutorial now you can watch this video where i have shown 10 amazing photoshop tips see you there